In this video, we'll answer the questions, what is business analysis and what is a business analyst? Welcome to Digital Age Business. My name's Marcus. I'm a qualified business analyst with over seven years of experience. I hold the BCS International Diploma in Business Analysis, and I'm also a mentor for the IIBA UK chapter. Despite being more than 20 years old, the discipline of business analysis is still not really that well understood, whether it's internally in the businesses or even in the wider industry. The BCS is the Chartered Institute for IT in the UK, and in their book, Business Analysis, which I'll link in the description below, they describe business analysis as the discipline of meeting the business needs with the business change solutions. The IIBA is the International Institute for Business Analysis. There are chapters throughout the world, and of course, there's a UK chapter. Their description is a bit more lengthy. The IIBA describes business analysis as the practice of enabling change in an organizational context by defining needs and recommending solutions that deliver value to stakeholders. In a separate video, we'll actually go through all the different types of stakeholders that can exist because they're not just internal to the organization, as we'll see there are some external stakeholders as well. Now, it's easy to think that looking at the definitions earlier, that business analysis would just involve technological changes or changes to um, IT or information systems, but that's not the case. The business analyst analyzes the entire business as a system. They have to look at people, at processes, and of course, business or IT systems, whether they're internal or whether they're third party systems to meet the needs of the business to ultimately deliver value to stakeholders and most importantly, to the clients of that business. At its simplest level, the easiest way to think of a business analyst is as an agent for change within the business. Now, typically, there are two sort of roles or two ways that I explain it to my mentees uh, or someone that's never really been familiar with business analysis before. And the way that I say it is that a business analyst acts almost like a translator. They're always acting as that bridge between the business stakeholders, who usually are not very technical, and the more technical stakeholders. Now, it could be that you have an internal team in your company, in your business, that's building you software. You may be liaising with third party uh, providers. In a separate video we talked about, and it's quite common now, you don't need to hire the resource permanently. So you might go out to third party services. You might use you know, consultants or contractors like on Fiverr or Upwork. And you need to know how to engage and to talk to these folks and tell them exactly what it is that you require what are the problems that you're trying to solve internally in order to deliver value to your clients and to your stakeholders. Again, the business analyst has a critical role to play. Uh, they facilitate, they coordinate, they ensure that the needs are articulated in a way that there's common understanding between all the parties and then derive solutions um, and, and articulate those solutions through documentation, through technical uh, specifications that are actually built and then once delivered, uh, the business analyst can also be involved in actually saying, did the solution that we delivered, did it actually meet the business needs? Does it deliver the value and the expected benefits? So the business analyst acts as the bridge between the business and the IT or the business and the, and the technical stakeholders, but they also act as an internal consultant. Now with that in mind, a business analyst, depending on their seniority, they typically would work from a junior level up to a senior or a more strategic level. You may be involved and it varies very widely across industry, across business, but typically speaking, you're involved at lower level uh, tactical change within the business. If you're more junior, you might be involved in a team or in a, in a specific project. You might also be an internal consultant to the business. So there's ongoing business as usual, BAU changes, and you're involved in those changes to continuously make improvements, make assessments, tweak things here and there to keep on delivering value as you go along. The other important aspect of business analysis, which cannot be understated, is looking at the holistic view of the business. So just because you change an IT system in one department, for example, if it's a larger company, you have to consider what are the changes elsewhere? Are there gonna be other knock-on effects in other processes? Are there, is there gonna be any training of people that's required? So a BA can, offer, can operate at that more tactical level. 
You can actually come to a more strategic level, um, advising C-level stakeholders, senior members, of, again, if it's a larger organization, be involved in very critical um, strategic decisions, strategic analysis. There's a separate video that we've created, which I'll link in the description, around all the techniques and the frameworks to analyze the external environment, to analyze the internal environment. What capabilities do you have now? What is the real business need? Articulating that and then getting to the point where you can map essentially the path for change from where you are to where you need to be. And it's critical to understand accurately what is the as is scenario and what is the desired state or the, the to be state as well. So a business analyst may be involved with the development of a company's strategic plan, improving business systems uh, and measuring success. Uh, they'll be responsible for bridging the gap, as we said, between IT and the business, using analytics, using frameworks and techniques to analyze processes, determine requirements, and come up with and articulate recommendations and reports at times to the executives and stakeholders. Now, BAs, they do engage with business leaders. Again, depending on the level of seniority, they may engage at a, at a more tactical level, they may engage at a more senior level, but engaging with business leaders and users and customers, end users within the organization to understand what are the needs, articulate those and balance them against what is actually feasible, what's feasible technologically, what is feasible financially. Uh, you might wanna do a whole host of things, but what's actually the right order, the right sequence to do that in, you know, also within the limits of what can be tolerated, whether it's, as we say, financial limitations, technological limitations, and it may just be the amount of change that you introduce into a business system. Uh, don't do too much too soon. Probably you can find examples, uh, maybe in your memory or uh, reading online, of where people have tried to do you know, really big projects too soon at a rush. So I hope that you've enjoyed this very quick introduction into uh, what is a business analyst and what is business analysis. If you got some value out of the video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing. We wanna keep on delivering more valuable content. And in fact, this will be part of a, a business analyst series of videos that we'll do here on the channel. So this is the first part that made the most sense to start. So we hope you like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.